Welcome to Chemistry 101, your introduction to chemistry. Chemistry 101 will touch on the important topics of first year chemistry and beyond. These Chemistry 101 topics that will be discussed below are matter, atoms, molecules, states of matter, solutions, acids and bases, oxidation reduction reactions, rates of reactions in equilibrium, thermochemistry, and stoichiometry. Chemistry 101 Matter Chemistry 101 begins with the introduction of matter, as chemistry is the study of matter. The atomic theory teaches that matter is made up of pure substances known as atoms and molecules. Atoms are single elemental particles such as gold, silver, and potassium. Molecules are chemical combinations of two or more atoms, such as water, H2O, oxygen, O2, and carbon dioxide, CO2. Matter may also be composed of mixtures of substances, such as a glass of orange juice. A glass of juice is a mixture of many different atoms and compounds, which are not chemically combined. Because they are not chemically combined, they can be separated by physical means. For instance, water, a pure substance, can be removed from orange juice, which is what juice manufacturers do to make concentrate. Chemistry 101, Atoms Chemistry 101 introduces the concept of atoms as the basic units of matter. Atoms are not the smallest units of matter, however. Rather, atoms consist of protons and neutrons, which are housed in the nucleus of an atom, and electrons, which surround the nucleus. Protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged, and neutrons possess no charge. Atoms differ from one another because of the number of protons present in their nuclei. For instance, atoms with only one proton in the nucleus are all hydrogen atoms. Atoms are neutral particles, which means they do not carry a charge. Therefore, atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons. As stated previously, an atom's identity is determined by the number of protons in its nucleus. Its chemical properties, in other words, what it reacts with, is determined by the number of electrons in its outermost energy level. Elements are made up of one type of atom. For example, a sample of the element gold is made up of far more than a trillion gold atoms. Elements are organized in a periodic table. They are organized in the table horizontally by an increasing number of protons and vertically by recurring chemical properties. Elements in the same vertical column, also known as a group, possess similar chemical properties. Chemistry 101 Molecules Chemistry 101 defines molecules as combinations of more than one atom chemically bonded together. The type of bonds that are formed between atoms is determined by their chemical properties, which are ultimately determined by the number of electrons in their outermost energy levels. Atoms form bonds to fill their outermost energy levels with electrons. Molecules have full outermost energy levels. Noble gases, which are non-reactive gases such as helium and neon, do not form molecules because they already have full outermost energy levels. The strength of the bonds that atoms form together determines the resulting molecule's physical properties, such as state of matter, whether solid, liquid, or gas, and melting and boiling points. Chemistry 101 States of Matter Chemistry 101 describes the three states of matter in which atoms and molecules exist, solid, liquid, and gas. 
Solids have tighter and more compact molecular structures than liquids, which have closer molecular structures than gases. Gas molecules exist very far apart from each other and interact as little as possible with each other. They do interact with each other, as predicted by kinetic molecular theory, which says they travel in straight lines, randomly colliding with each other. Gases expand in volume with increasing heat and decreasing pressure, and decrease in volume with decreasing heat and increasing pressure. Chemistry 101 Solutions Chemistry 101 defines a solution as a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances that exists in a single phase, such as the liquid phase. The solute is the substance that exists in the lesser amount and the solvent in the greater amount. For example, in a solution of salt water, salt is the solute and water is the solvent. Solutions in which water is the solvent are known as aqueous solutions. Solutions follow the saying, like dissolves like, meaning that solutes and solvents with similar polarity positive and negative regions, will dissolve in each other. Whereas solutes and solvents in which one is polar and one is nonpolar will not dissolve in each other. Oil and water don't mix because oil is nonpolar, lacking positive and negative regions, and water is polar. Chemistry 101, Chemical Reactions Chemistry 101 not only describes atoms and molecules, but most importantly, the reactions they undergo. Chemical reactions are interactions between pure substances, either atoms or molecules, that result in the rearranging of atoms and molecules. It is important to note that atoms are never lost in chemical reactions. They are only rearranged. An example of a chemical reaction is the rusting of iron. Iron reacts with oxygen in the air to produce iron oxide. The reaction is four iron atoms react with three oxygen molecules to produce two molecules of iron three oxide. Notice that there are four atoms of pure solid iron on the reactant left side of the equation. S stands for solid. These four iron atoms react with three oxygen gas molecules. Oxygen exists in nature as two oxygen atoms bonded together to form two molecules of iron three oxide. The same number of iron and oxygen atoms exists on both sides of the equation, but they are now rearranged. Rearranging atoms to make new molecules completely changes their properties. Whereas iron is a metal, iron 3 oxide is a reddish powdery substance. Chemistry is a quantitative science which requires dedicated study and practice. It is a worthwhile endeavor as matter is the basis of all living and non-living things. Visit chemin10.com to learn more Chemistry 101 in easy to learn 10 minute videos with quizzes, forum, and live online tutoring. Learn Chemistry 101 with Chemin 10. Chemin10.com